The winter is dry and cold in Shakardara Swat, but soon these mountains will be covered under a white blanket of snow. There's not much time before conditions worsen. Standing on the top of a rubble of a home destroyed by the Swati Taliban, these laborers clear away the debris. What's left of the household lies buried under twisted steel, wood and concrete. Sitting nearby, family members supervise the rebuilding of what was their home. Despite the fact that the government, the non-governmental organization, the local politicians have been having their photo opportunities and trying to say that they are out here helping the people of Swat, the real situation on the ground is very different. As you can see behind me, a reconstruction project is underway, but it is being funded by the family who lost that home. There are many people in Swat who are not able to rebuild their homes because they don't have the resources. And everyone here will tell you that rebuilding Swat will require much more and a lot of time. Not far away in the same village, another house is being rebuilt. It belongs to Muzaffar, who was forced to flee the area when he received a death threat from the Taliban and five members of his family were killed. The government is offering 400,000 rupees for a completely destroyed house. You can't build a toilet with that. And they haven't even started to pay that. But locals convinced him and his family to return to the area. These poor villagers even volunteered to rebuild his house for free and they provided armed locals for security. Reconstruction is a painful process for the old and those who have lived here all their lives. But for the children, it's a sign of a return to normalcy and being at home. Kamal Haider, Al Jazeera, Shakardara Swat.